In this video, we're going to see how to use the Shadow Sketcher option and an infinite plane. Here we can see the scene with only a series of bases inside. To illuminate them, we are using an octane daylight. Now let's imagine that we want to set these bases within a scene and illuminate them through an HDRI image. In our physical sun, we upload a HDR or EXR. We drag it into our texture slot and then select in the drop down menu as the type of lighting, no longer the daylight, but the item texture. We're using the HDRI image to brighten the pots. Pot lighting is now consistent with HDRI lighting. In this way, however, we do not have the shadows brought by the vases as we have no surface on which to project them. We then create a plane on which to cast the shadows. However, we notice that the shadows are limited to the space of the plane we are using. We can extend the plan. To this plan, I have assigned a diffuse material. Diffuse material has the shadow catcher option which allows us to capture the shadows cast on the object to which we have assigned the material with the active option without having the material visible. By clicking on the shadow catcher option, we can see our shadows directly reported on the plane of our HDRI in the background. Now, as we said earlier, the size of the plan may not be enough. As we can see, by narrowing the plane, the shadows end up in the margin. Cut off. To avoid this kind of problem, we add a modifier to the plane, which is called Octane Geometry Property. In the Modifier menu, in the General Properties, there is the Infinite Plane item. If we go to see Hiding HDR, if we hide the HDRI in the background, we can verify that the shadows of the vases are fully immersed in the scene and absolutely consistent with the lighting of the HDRI we are using. Few of us have achieved a photorealistic image that is consistent with the environment. If we need it, we can directly use the material shadow catcher. Within the material, you can find all the independent management options. 